I tell you, this is Chili D here. And you know how my son has comb coils, but by his hair being so soft, um, I learned how to do the Instalocks. So I'm doing the Instalocks, and as you can see, the difference between this one I just done and this one. You can see the difference between the two. All right? And I got the idea from Chris McDread. And I will show you um, how I do it when I'm almost finished with this Chris head. Madrid. When I'm finished with his head. <laughs> he's, he's silly. My son is silly. All right. Tell you, I'm here to show you how I'm doing instant dreads on my son. Um, what I'm doing is, instead of comb coiling it, I'm taking it like this with a small tooth comb like this. And I'm going down. I'm back combing. I'm back combing the comb coil I had put in his hair the other day. So I'm back combing it. Then I take it and I give it one twist and I take a uh, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter that's the number 14 um, crochet hook you see how small it is it's very small and what I do is I go back and forth like this between the fingers and I twist it as I'm going around And I'm giving him instant locks. That way I won't have to be manipulating his hair every week because his hair is very soft. And his comb coils only last like maybe three days in his hair. And that way I won't have to be, I won't have to do his hair every week. So I won't put that stress on his hair of retwisting his hair every week. So right now I'm giving instant the instant locks and I learned the technique from Chris McDread and I think Salima of uh, Hydrotherma Natural what? I put the link to their videos in the description box below and you just keep going round and round and you move up as you go around now when you get to the end just let it go and you see it's locked already see that it's locked already Ouch. then I take the end and I fold it over and I just go back and forth through the end to seal it it'll get better with time I'm a little slow with doing this because I've been on this head for a couple of days now <laughs> For one, he want to run around and play because he out of school for the summer. So he wants to run and play with his friends and play his game. So it took me some days to work on his head. And you will stab yourself because this is very small. I think I done poked my finger like two, three times since I've been doing it. But it's fairly easy. And then what I do, Jamar, run over there to the tea, to the sink and get that old locker that I use your head in the locker. She'll be right back. The, I'm the on. Thing. I actually. The can't. little silver thing. Don't you see? They don't say nothing. It's on the sink. You don't see it? I oh, know. So. I take my old locker and I put the link to this down below. I think this is the medium size, I think. I'm not for sure. But he does have a bundle pack where you get it from micro, small, medium, and large. So you get one for each size. But you go through, yeah, I went through here like this, pull it through. Only left enough room to do two rotations. Majority of them, I can only do two rotations. But I can do another one 
with this one because it's enough room and you see it's not tight I didn't make it tight as you can see now I'm going to show you one more time I combed out the comb coil then I back comb it <clears throat> then I'm going to twist it and as I doing it I'm going around I'm twisting it Then what I do and I let it go, I um, feel to see if you if it feels like sturdy, like it's um, compacted. And if it's not, I go out. See, you see, I stab myself. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> anyway, excuse my language, but that hurt. And I just keep going around it, twisting it, and going through it until it feels compact enough for me. Turn that off. Then you fold it the end down because the end will be thin. And you just fold it down and do the same thing. But what I'm doing, I'm just shifting back and forth like this, like that. Because it will take his hair too long to lock on its own and then um, by him being playful and everything he don't want me really doing it <clears throat> put it through the old locker like that and then I'll just take it through pull it up this is kind of short, but then the ones in the front is a little short. But it's okay, I still got it. I don't make it tight. Most of them I could only do two. Take it through two times. And I also like the way the old locker is shaped. It has a curve in it. That way you won't go through the other lock. It curves straight up. And you can also adjust it to how much of a curve you want. You can bend it because it's a soft, it's soft uh, silver. You can bend it to how much of a curve you want. And then this is the last one. And that's it. So I'm gonna let them wash it and then I'll come back and I'll put some pictures at the end of this video thank you okay I've washed his hair and I moisturize you I use his uh, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line and then I followed up with the Shea Moisture uh, Retention Moisture Retention Shampoo and then after I finished that, I um, sprayed his hair with a leave-in conditioner, 
and sealed it in with the oil with an oil mixture so as you see his locks came out pretty nice and I have pictures in the end turn around baby turn this way Come on, okay. Show your hair. Let me see. can I go to bed yeah you can go to bed now okay say good night to everybody good night <laughs>